You compare us, but you're nowhere near my league. So strong. I need this. into my eyes and tell me you want me tell me you'd kill for me anything I want she's using her power dominate hey Hill Hill here gaming here and as you can see we are headed to Omega and it is there we will help Samara with her 400 year old quest all right so let's change Tally's outfit let's bring out Samara and who who will we bring with us? I'm going to bring Miranda. All right, Miranda. Hmm. Tough decision here. I think we're going to go with Warp. And we're going to evolve it into unstable warp. Oh, wow. Look at uh, Samara. We haven't put any points into her abilities. I'm going to give her full Justicar abilities and evolve her into... We'll do the, the power recharge. The Sapiens Justicar. Samara's biotic abilities now rival those of an Asari matriarch, further reducing the recharge time of our powers. Okay. Uh, throw and pull, huh? I really want Reeve, so I'm, I'm going to save points for that. Um, I don't know if she, I don't think she's going to be doing any fighting here that I have any control over on this mission, so I'm just going to leave it like this. What does she have? A Matok. Go, girl. Go. <laughs> and a locust. Let's go. Any death count on Omega is too high for me to pinpoint in Ardot Yakshi's location. However, given the reputation of Ardot Yakshi among the Asari, Arya Talok may have tracked her movements. Thank you. All right. Well, let's go visit Arya. It's been a while since we've been to Omega. Can't say I've really missed it, but hey. We're back. Come on, let me in. Just skip Are line he here. Me? Do you remember Arya's reaction to Samara? Should be interesting. So we meet again. What do you need? Okay. Well, we'll just get right to the point. Samara's daughter. An Asari fugitive is hiding out here. She's an Ardat Yakshi. We need to find her. I knew it. Nothing leaves a body quite so empty 
as an Ardot Yakshi does. You haven't taken steps to kill her? Why would I? She hasn't tried to seduce me. Mm. Her last victim was a young girl. Pretty thing. Lived in the tenements near here. That's where I start looking. All right, I will. Thanks for the help. Good luck finding her. Better luck catching her. All right, we need to go to the apartment to find the apartment of Morant's last victim. Someone knows Miranda? Miranda Lawson. I thought that might be you. Hello, Ish. Long time no see. Oh, you're acquainted. I take it you've met each other before. Jacob and I worked a mission with Ish a few years back. He helped us with some information. One of my finer moments, I'd say. And why are you watching us? Well, wait, wait. All right, well, can we trust Ish? Is this going to be a problem? I've worked with Ish a few times. He's a coward and a liar, but he's useful enough. And I think we asked this, right? You're acquainted? I take it you've met each other before. Jacob and I worked yes. a mission with okay. Ish a few years back. One of my finer moments, I'd say. All right, so now, why are you watching us? I heard you talking about us. What do you want? Please, please, we're all friends here. There's no need for language of that sort. I need skilled, trustworthy people to take care of a little business for me. Nothing illegal, of course, but it's paying work. Well, you know what? I don't trust you. Not illegal? I doubt it. Well, it's certainly legal on Omega. I can't be expected to know the laws of every settlement in the galaxy, can I? Let's ask about Ish. What kind of business do you do? Important business. So important that, with your help, we can change Omega. Hmm. What do you need? I'm listening. I'm in the information business. Specifically, the buying and selling of privileged material. It's nothing illicit. I just need someone to pick up packages in certain locations and bring them to me here. Well, you know what, buddy? I need more information. What's your angle? No angle. I'm a simple businessman. What do you say? All right, you have a deal. I can do that. My contacts use specific drop points. I need you to look outside Merib's shop on the Citadel and inside Eternity on Ilium. Look around for anything that might hold a data package and bring those packages to me. Good seeing you again, Miranda. Hmm. All right, well, we all know he's up to something. I guess we'll find out at some point. All right. Tenements are down here. I think this is the woman's mother. Are you here about my daughter? My nephew died a week ago and no one seems to care. The medic said it was a brain hemorrhage, but that's not true. It was murder. Someone killed my nephew, my baby. All right, we need to ask some questions. I'm looking into your daughter's death. Are you one of Arya's people? No, I'm an interested party, though. I'm looking into this on my own authority. No one else on this hellhole station gives a damn that my nephew is dead. If you can do something about it, I'll help you however I can. All right, let's ask about Neff. What kind of a girl was your daughter? My nephew had a fire inside her. She was shy, but she was creative and driven and... Huh, the best girl a mother could hope for. She was creative? How so? She was a sculptor. Several galleries were interested in her. Said her work was fresh. Let's ask about her hangouts. Did Neff hang out anywhere in particular? She was always quiet working here at home. Then, a few weeks ago, she started going out all the time. To the VIP area of that club down the street. I think you need a password or something to get in there. The 
change was so sudden. She just seemed tired and distracted when she wasn't around Morinth. Uh-oh, that name. Let's ask about Neff's friends. Did your daughter have a lot of friends? Not a lot, no. She was shy. Spent most of her time off making her sculptures, not hanging out with friends. Something did change in the last few weeks, though. She started talking about an Asari. Morinth. I see. That name I again. Like her. She kept dragging Neff out to clubs, and I'm pretty sure she gave my daughter drugs. Let's ask about drugging her victims. Samara, does Morinth control her victims with drugs? She controls them through sheer will. The drugs are just a lifestyle. She loves the club, loves the base. She's a hedonist. So this Morinth did hurt my daughter? Is she the one that... that... I will bring justice to the one that did this. Let's not make rash promises. Once we have all the facts, we'll decide on a course of action. If you find the person that hurt my nephew, you kill her. Or tell me where she is and I'll kill her. Uh-oh now. Let's, let's all just calm down, calm down. You know, Samara has been at this for 400 years. So we have to assume that she knows what she's doing. Yeah, right. All right, let's tell, tell me about this Asari. What kind of a person was this Morinth? I never met her. But Neff talked about her like she was a queen. You'd swear there was no one else alive when she talked about Morinth. That sounds familiar. Okay, I guess we have exhausted our options here, so let's see if we can look around. Do you mind if I examine Neff's room? I didn't want to disturb anything. Her clothes, her art, her sculptures, everything is the way she left it. The way it will always be. <laughs> My baby is gone. Oh, sorry, She's no. She's gone, and nothing will fix that. Why did this happen? <laughs> she never hurt anybody. We need to look in your daughter's room. Nothing will be disturbed. Hmm. No promises. I'll try. But if my investigation requires it, I'll do what I have to do. Please try. Look at that Please. mascara, people. Please. I'll examine her things. All right. Find a VIP password. And we got some renegade. Excellent. Uh, here's the door here. Of stuff to look at. Let's read the diary. Let's read the oldest entry. Read the oldest entry. Hey, diary. Cycle 34, orbit 671. There's a lot to talk about. I dropped your root's name and they let me into the VIP room at Afterlife. I was sure everyone was staring at me. Then the most beautiful Asari starts dancing near me. She moves like water, form and volume, but shifting, changing. I'm in a trance. Then I'm dancing with her. Later, we went for secures, and I'm supposed to see her again tomorrow. All right, let's read the middle entry. Read the middle entry. Cycle 36, orbit 671. Oh, am I a freak? Morinth is a girl like me, and she's definitely not human. Just... When we dance and the Halix is flowing through me, the way she looks at me, with a hunger, a longing, no one's ever looked at me like that. We kiss tonight. Girl, really? That's a shame, you know, young girls like this, who are just so love-starved. I mean, the look that Morinth was giving her, it was of hunger. Because she wanted to consume her very essence. Let's read the newest entry. Read the newest entry. Cycle 42, orbit 67. She's going to take me to her apartment tonight. Whatever happens, I want to be with her forever. She can sell my pieces. We can live somewhere glamorous. Like the women in Vanya that Vid Morinth likes. How did this happen to me? I'm just dumb trash from Omega. Hmm. <laughs> All right, we're closing the hollow journal. Close the hollow journal. This is Morin's work. She's attracted to artists and creators. Someone with a spark slightly isolated from their peers. She impresses with sophistication and sex appeal. 
Then she strikes. The hunt interests her as much as the conquest. Hmm, this sounds easy. I don't know why he's saying that, but he's going to say that. She kills with sex, and I have no plans to sleep with her. Perhaps you have a right to be glib, Shepard. But caution is wise here. Morin speaks to you on many levels. Her body tells yours that she'll bring unimaginable ecstasy. Her scent evokes emotions long hidden. Her eyes promise you things you were always scared to ask of another. Her voice whispers to you after she is done speaking. Hmm. Can't wait to meet her. She sounds like my kind of a sorry. You joke, Shepard. But for all your might, you will be in great danger. Storming her den would be a mistake. She will have a hundred escape routes planned. She will go to ground and disappear for 50 years or more. This is the closest I've ever been. Gosh, after 400 years. People! You, you, you talk about an obsession. Well, anyway, do you have a plan? You sound like you're working your way toward an idea. Afterlife's VIP section seems her preferred hunting ground. You must go there alone and unarmed. Alone? And unarmed? I'm walking into this place with no gun and no backup? I will be in the shadows watching, Shepard. You will never be alone. This I swear. But you cannot barge in with guns and allies. Marin this far too cagey. She'd simply disappear. This is a subtle, delicate act. Trust me. And uh, uh, I'm the b b bait? She'll come after me. You can draw Morinth out. She'll certainly flee if she catches sight of me, but she won't be able to resist you. You are an artist on the battlefield. You have the vital spark that attracts her. Your power will draw her in. Alright, I don't think we finished um investigating the uh, apartment, but I have no more options, so let's go. Time's wasting. Let's get over there. I agree. We can talk more once we're there. Oh wait, there's freedom here. I can further explore. Ooh, four renegade, nice. All right, let's look at the statue. Death made that. A man from some gallery offered me four years' salary for it, but I never part with it. And let's look at this note. Neff, I'm sending you this hologram by the Elcor artist Forta. His work is sublime, but don't stare at it too long or you may go mad. I don't want anything bad to happen to you, love. I can't wait to hear what you think of Forta. Okay. You know, we need all of these little um, clues and stuff. Alright, and we've read the diary. I think that's it. Because this can be challenging. I mean, you know, this isn't going to be a, a battle of weapons. But a battle of wits. And you really have to be on your A-game for this. Okay, where are we headed now? Oh, okay, I guess I, I've got to lead the way. Come on, I think I remember it being over here somewhere. A battle of wits. Wow, I'm looking forward to it. Um, do we have anything here? Stabilization gauntlets? Melee damage? That's a big boost in melee. Weapon damage by 5%. That's not much, but hey. It's not bad either. Um, I'll get them. Yeah, I mean, this Shepard is not a melee character, so we're good with, without having that. Um... Is it up here? Yes, look, people. VIP only. This is where we need to go. Alright. What do you want? Let's ask what's back there. What's behind this door? The VIP section of the club. For those with the right name. Do you want something? Jerut sent me. Someone told me the rest of Afterlife is nothing compared to this place. Sounds like a smart person. Who was it? Jerut. Go on in. Word to the wise. Start a fight, we'll hurt you. Someone attacks you, 
It's okay to defend yourself. Oh, here we go. <laughs> Look how Shepard magically changed into civilian clothes. You must go in alone. Marinth will be watching. Like any predator, she is cautious. You must pique her interest enough that she will approach you. When you are face to face, subtly encourage her to invite you to her apartment. I'll follow discreetly, and when you are alone, I'll spring the trap. Know this, until I get there, you are in great peril. She will be planning to inflict horrors on you. If you are not careful, you will want her to. Let's ask about being alone with Morinth. Getting her alone, then falling under her sway? That'll require careful timing. I will be near, and I will come for you, Shepard. Trust me, as I trust and honor you. All right. Let's ask about getting to Morin's apartment. How do I convince her to take me home? She admires strength, directness, and vigor. Modesty, chivalry, or meekness frustrate and bore her. Violence excites her. You've killed Shepard. She'll like that. <laughs> All right. Let's ask about drawing Morinth out. How can I spark her interest when I'm not even talking to her? Courage or suicidal bravery could attract her. Hurt someone in defense and she will be excited. But pick a fight and she'll be bored. Show skill at working smoothly through a nightclub crowd. She will be intrigued. She'll want you the moment she sees you. The rest is just a matter of overpowering her caution. Okay, let's review our findings. Okay, what other things have we learned about Morinth that can help us here? According to Neff's journal, Morinth likes dancing while on a drug called Halax. Neff's journal mentioned a vid called Veyenya. It seemed to have something to do with glamorous women. Morinth sent Neff a note saying she likes the Elcor artist Forta. Well, Shepard, that's everything we know. All right, I know what to do. Let's get started. Shepard, we only get one chance at this. Any mistake and Morinth will disappear. If you're the least bit unsure, come talk to me. I will wait here. And Shepard, thank you. I do not share this burden easily, and you are the only soul I can imagine sharing it with. All right, split up and attract Morinth. All right, we're gonna do a save here, people. Because I really need this to succeed, so let's, let's go. <laughs> All right, here we go. You. Hey, do you know where to get tickets for Expel 10? I heard this amazing Asari say they were her favorite band. I want to... I just want whatever she wants. I gotta find tickets. Expel 10 is playing tomorrow. Let's ask about Expel 10. What kind of music do they play? They're a sensory band. Like, they crawl into you and make you feel things. And this Asari digs them like you wouldn't believe. I could score way out of my league, you know? You, you gotta help me. Where is this Asari? She sounds amazing. Is she here? She was here a couple of days ago talking about the band. She's here a lot. When she comes back, I'm gonna have tickets. Get away from me. I'm ready to punch someone, and you're too close. Relax, relax. It's cool. I'll step off. Ooh, 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 ooh. Two renegade. Okay. Let's move through the club. What have we got here? Come on, baby. I can pay. I'm a good tipper, too. I told you to stay away from me. It ain't hard to get. Give it up, baby. I'm sold. Don't be like that. I got creds. We'll go back to my place. I got simple tastes. Back off, asshole. I'm a dancer, not a hooker. You got a mouth on you. I'll enjoy watching you use it. Leave her alone. <laughs> the lady asked you to step away. What the hell? I'm just looking for a good time. This isn't your business. Uh-uh. Oh. Ooh. Oh. Good times are over. Thanks for that. Security was asleep. 
All right, so he attacked someone in someone else's defense. Let's see, what else? What else can we do to draw her out? Who was this? Burton? Good cred hunting tonight. I'll hit him in the alley. As long as it isn't one of Arya's people, we're good. We gotta get enough creds to keep him off our backs. Hey, what are you looking at? Uh-uh, people. Uh-uh! He is feeling the renegade vibes tonight. Not much. A pair of sad losers who think there's something and are about to find out they're not. <laughs> Who's gonna show us that? You? Human thinks he's a tough guy. Tougher than you. Uh-oh, this might not be what we need. Because I think he just beat them up for no reason. I don't think she li well, she Morin. did like that. I've been watching you. Uh-oh. You're the most interesting person in this place. I've got a booth over here in the shadows. Why don't you come sit with me? All Some right, nights I come here it. and there's no one interesting to talk to. Some nights, there's just one person. Tonight, it's you. Why is that? Hmm. Well, wow. We're gonna go with confident. We're gonna try to keep it renegade. Hopefully, she won't think that he's too arrogant. I know what I like. Do you? Let's talk about art. Do you know anything about art? It speaks to the darkest places in me. What about you? Shepherd likes the Elcor, Forta. Do you know the artist Forta? I didn't think anyone around here knew him. He's sublime. Art comes in many varieties. I've seen bids that were more powerful than a sculpture sitting in a gallery. Let's talk about Vayenya. Do you know Vayenya? My favorite. The two actresses on it are so glamorous. I'll have to watch it. Maybe we could do that together. Let's talk about music. What do you think of the music here? Dark rhythms, violent pulses. It stirs something primitive in me. What about you? Let's mention Expel 10. I'm curious about a band called Expel 10. They get in my head and tear it to pieces. They're in concert soon. Maybe we should go together. You can lose yourself in the music here. There are ways to enhance that. You know? Hmm. Like Halix. What do you think of Halix? It slithers through my soul. Seems like we share some interests. Okay, we are running out of things to talk about. I know we cannot, under any circumstances, talk about family. And it would be a really bad idea to talk about just a car, since that's why we're here. Let's talk about travel, then. I've traveled all over the galaxy. It changes you, doesn't it? Uh, let's talk about liking the danger. Real travel means going to dangerous places. Where you can see and do things most people can't imagine. Yes. When I travel, I find myself drawn to dark, dangerous places. Violent places? Violence is the surest expression of power. Hmm. We're going with power is its own reward. Violence is a means to an end. Power is that end. Do you want to get out of here? My apartment is nearby and... I want you alone. All right, Shepard. We certainly worked her. Five Renegade, nice. All right, I need to distract Morinth. Uh, so, oh, here's a assault rifle. Assault rifle damage, nice. And look at the sword. I was into Doom for a while. I love the moment you see it in your opponent's eyes. He knows you're better, and he's going to die. Hmm. All right. Let's look at the pill bottle. Have a Halix if you want. 
But wouldn't you rather have all your senses be clear and sharp right now? I certainly do. Okay, what else can I look at? I don't know if there's a <laughs> there's anything else. Uh-oh. There's a sculpture. Oh, okay, up here. Oh, she doesn't mind that I'm walking around. Um, let's investigate the sculpture. A gift from a suitor. The statue's got more personality than he did. Still, he impressed me enough that he finally got what he wanted. It didn't end the way he hoped. I bet not. This is a Krogan, right? I think so. Yeah, a Krogan statue. Okay, a chess set. Let's check this out. I love any game where your opponent can believe he is about to win just before you kill him. Oh, poor Morinth. You really think you have the upper hand here? Um, I guess I've distracted her as much as I can. I don't see anything else I can look at. I don't know if I go to the door, she might, she might want to kick me out. All right, we're well. Let's see. Was there anything over here in the kitchen? Nope. All right, people. Here we go. Let's hope this works. I love clubs. People, movement, heat. I can still hear the bass like the drums of a great hunt out for your blood. But here. It's muted, and you're safe. Is that what you want, Shepard? <laughs> the renegade. No. I'd rather fight than hide. Yes. Better to take control of your fate. I've never understood the fascination with safety. Some of us choose differently. Independence over submission. I think we share that, you and I. Going with that renegade option, people. I'm the stronger. You compare us, but you're nowhere near my league. So strong. I need this. Look into my eyes and tell me you want me. Tell me you'd kill for me. Anything I want. She's using her power. Dominate. But Shepard is able to resist. You screw up. I'm not the victim you were hoping for. But you... Who are you? Oh no. I see what's going on. The bitch herself found a little helper. And here she comes. Marin! Ugh. Mother. Do not call me that. I can't choose to stop being your daughter, Mother. You made your choice long ago. What choice? My only crime was being born with the gifts you gave me. Enough, Morin! I am the genetic destiny of the Asari. But they are not ready to reveal this. So I must die. You are a disease to be purged. Nothing more. I'm as strong as she is. Let me join you. I am already sworn to help you, Shepard. Let us finish this. All right. We have to kill Morinth. Or do we? Maybe we should kill Samara instead. Morinth? Samara? Who? What? Morinth. She must die. End of the line, Morinth. And they call me a monster. <clears throat> Find peace in the embrace of the goddess. Mmm. Four hundred years. I am ready years. to leave this place and get on with my life. 
Are you ready to go as well? 400 years, people, it took for her to hunt this woman down, her daughter. Um, yes, we're, I'm, I'm more than ready. Let's go. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo! <laughs> All right. And there you have it, people. A battle of wits. All right, our mission summary. Samara has dealt with the Ardot Yakshi. She remains loyal to Shepard personally. Loyalty of the Jestakar beyond question, given apparent bonds of oath rendered to Shepard. Better than hoped, Cerberus activities will not be affected further by presence of Shepard's team. Relieved to have the Jestakar's mission completed, unfortunately, body of Ardot Yakshi could not be taken for study. Genetic abnormality could have been useful. Subject's expertise would have made her a valuable member if sociopathic tendencies were mitigated. All right, so we have got Samara's power. Reeve! And you know, I love this version of Reeve in Mass Effect 2 when they changed it for Mass Effect 3. Mm -mm, I don't know. I mean, at least in 3, you could do combos with it, but... Anyhow, this is good. Damages the target's nervous system or synthetic systems to prevent healing. Restores health and gives temporary health bonus when the power is used against organics. Reeve also does double damage to armor and barriers. Alright, Samara gets a new outfit. We got assault rifle damage. We got 30,000 in credits. We got 2,000 palladium, and we are headed somewhere. Don't know where. Could be the Normandy, or it could be back on Omega. Oh, look, we got a doppelganger achievement. We have achieved level 25. We got 750 experience, 30 Paragon, 30,000 credits. And I'm not happy about the Paragon. All right, let's go, ladies. I think we are done with this. We can head back to the Normandy. I don't believe there's anything else on Omega. Let's go check out Harrod's shop, see if there might be any new items or anything. Um, ordnance packs, spare ammo, I'll take it. I'm not buying any models or anything like that at the moment. Okay. So yeah, the the Samara mission can be a little challenging if you don't pay attention. You really have to listen to you know all the clues and do the the investigation to pull it off as flawlessly as I did. Because if you just try to guess, you know you could really end up with the, the wrong responses and she'll run off and Samara won't be happy. All right, people, we're going to go ahead and end the video here and get back on board the Normandy and we will continue. We only have two loyalty missions left, Thane and Jack. And we will continue with those in our next episode. This is Hill! And I'm out.